All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is currently 7.28 p.m. I'm exhausted. I want to go home. <laughs> I feel like a prisoner. I want to go home. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a busy day in show business. It's currently 8.25 a.m. on a Thursday, March 31st. We got a lot going on. But first, we are driving to the office because we have a buyer consultation at 8.30 in the morning. Did I mention another TikTok went viral? Yes, yes, and the flip is done. A lot to catch up on with everybody, so please stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is, as you can see, 8.39 a.m. I have to make a quick phone call. The uh, buyer consultation is gonna happen, but he's running a little bit late, which is fantastic. Gives me time to call this 3.30 show and see if we can move it over to a after five, let me see what we could do. I got your show request for my property at 2343 Greenview at 3.30, I believe, today. Um, it is tenant occupied, so we would like to do all showings after 5 p.m. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the buyer consultation. This is uh, for Ross. He's actually big on personal finance, so I'll link his uh, YouTube channel below. This is like but, YouTube? Uh, this is YouTube, yeah, for the daily vlog. It's vlog day. Oh, uh, is I, it? Uh, I intro it as the big, as a busy day in show business today. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't get preview to this conversation because it's private, but I'll check in with you after. It is now 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. The buyer consultation actually led to us submitting an offer. <laughs> it was pretty easy. So I love investors. Back here is Christian. I don't know if you guys have met him. I will do a separate video introducing the whole team uh, and everything like that. But today, he has decided to cold call for business, right? And if you don't know, that's what I used to do in the beginning. So we are going to do some role plays and you can just shadow along. Hey there, this is uh, Aaron with uh, Remax First. I'm a local realtor calling by your house. Just wondering uh, when you had plans, uh, when you were thinking about selling that property. Uh, I'm not interested. Now, I knew that before calling. <laughs> I know you probably have no plans of selling right now, but is there any time in the future where you may be interested in maybe downsizing or upsizing into a bigger home? Um, no. No. Okay, no worries. Well, you have a great day. Clay. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the majority of your calls. Mm -hmm. If you talk to 20 people, 18 will go like that. Mm -hmm. But you only need those two, baby. Mm -hmm. You only need those two. You call for, let's say, in a week you get, every week you get two people that say, you know, maybe you might want to mm -hmm. do something, right? Mm -hmm. In a month, how many do you have? Eight. In six months, you have 48 people not with maybes, mm -hmm. right? In a year, you have almost 100. Mm -hmm. So now you're giving yourself an opportunity. Because now instead of a one person possibly ever doing something with you. It's a hundred people possibly mm -hmm. doing something with you. Do you see how consistency is the reason you succeed, not because you called eight hours today? Yeah. And this is where like a lot of new agents, that's why I was trying to very, like make sure you don't fill up your schedule too much mm -hmm. because if you just call once a day, mm -hmm. it's gonna take you three years to build up to that hundred maybes, mm -hmm. you know, that actually will lead to actual results. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that. Uh, hello, this is Christian with Remax First. I'm calling about the house at blank, blank, blank. Just wondering when you were planning on selling that home. Let's, let's give it a go. All right. If not, we're repeating it. Hell yeah, this, this is role play, ladies and gentlemen. Right. And, and if you're enjoying this, like, comment, and subscribe. We need it. Thank you. Hello? Hello, this is Christian with Remax First. I'm just calling about your home at 123 Main Street. I was wondering, when, when are you planning to sell that home? Uh, to be honest, the wife and I have been talking about it, but... You know, maybe in a month or so, we're just getting some work done around the house for now. Okay, great, great. Um, are you currently working with an agent? Uh, you know, my wife has somebody, but, you know, nobody, we haven't really committed to anybody yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. I've been in the game for quite a while now. Um, I do focus mainly on, on doing listings. Um, would it be okay if I sent you an email with a little bit more information about myself? Um, would that be okay with you? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, uh, what's your email? Uh, it is my shoes are white mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Okay, uh, my shoes are white at gmail.com, is that correct? <laughs> you got it. Okay, perfect. All right, well, we'll keep in touch. All right, great call, huh? right? So that's what you want, huh? Check this out. You do not want to go into selling yourself. Mm 
right? Okay. This, this man does not know you. Oh, in the vlog, I don't know how much of the role play I'm gonna show you because that was 20 minutes long and this vlog will last forever. I might do a separate video with the role play and give you teasers of this one, right? For personal trainings like this, you wanna subscribe to the Patreon. For the love of God, please subscribe to the Patreon. Now, we have to quickly run out to uh, to breakfast I'm having with a buddy of mine, Chris. You guys have met him several times and now have the lender on the phone. Okay, I'm back with you. Sorry, I had to uh, record a clip for the vlog, but... Um, so I got your call, figured, I'm sorry, I was in a buyer consultation actually when you called, so... What's oh, happening? Good. Well, you know what, I've been doing kind of work a lot, and I just talked to her briefly this morning, when they filled out the loan application, and I told her that I would put any of his income down. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of important. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so today we actually have to drive to Chicago to pick up uh, keys and get a lockbox set up for a listing of mine <laughs> that is already on the market, and we already had showing, so... And it's tenant occupied, so it's kind of hard to get this stuff uh, figured out. So I have to call the client and get his key situation sorted out. My man. Good morning, big dog. How are you? Doing pretty well. How are you? I'm doing great. You got three showings today and another two tomorrow. We are busy as could be. Life is good. However, I need keys. Yes. <laughs> so That's awesome. Just left lunch. It is now 1230. We have to drive to Chicago and meet my client and pick up the keys take it over to the listing and then come back to the office and continue on. We got a lot of things to do today once we get back to the office. One of which is getting a landscaper to come out to the flip. And by the way, the flip is done. Woohoo! All right, time is 146. Key secured. I just had a quick, you know, nice 15, 20 minute conversation with the client because he's also a good friend of mine. So we we're just catching up. Now I'm actually heading over to the listing to drop off the lockbox. That way we can get all the showings taken care of. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Time for this lockbox to go up. Gonna put it right over here. Gotta love these gas lines. Boom. You know, this actually might be a little bit annoying. Alright, now we take a picture and we leave. Uh, you sent me the pamphlet. I'm gonna be so honest with you. I hate reading big pamphlets. So I figured I'd just call. We'd have a quick five, maybe yeah. a 15 minute cool. convo. You know, get the questions I need answered and then we can move on. So I just got off the phone with the lender. I, it looks very promising. This goes to show if you have the right lender, you give yourself more opportunities for deals. So with 3% down, my client can get a renovation loan and lock this bad boy down, get it wrapped up and ready to go. And I'm almost at the office and I'm doing the most narcissistic thing, guys. And, I, and I'm sorry. I'm listening to this podcast called uh, The Straight Up Chicago Investor. And I'm actually a guest, so I'm listening to myself to see how well I did. Because in the moment, I was just, you know, sw you know, slinging from the hip or whatever they say. But I'm going to link them in the description. Go listen, you know, give them a shout out. Let them know that Aram sent you. And let, let them know that the YouTube has a following. You know, we're here uh, and, and we mean something. So I think that'd be awesome. But yeah, it was my first bo uh, podcast. I was a little nervous <laughs> doing it, but uh, I'm glad I did it. So it's all great. Now I get to the office and we get right back to work. All right, it is now... 3.37 p.m. and uh, we still have <laughs> nine items on the to-do list and here's what we have. Uh, we have to look up houses for buyers, we have to call uh, you know, certain new clients, a uh, lender, it's a hard money lender, we have to write up an offer for one client, we have to prepare another offer for another client, we gotta get a landscaper out for the, the flip, we gotta post a YouTube video, we gotta film a YouTube video, so we gotta get that first taken care of, then we gotta post on TikTok, then we have to post on Instagram, and then we have to talk to a client about this renovation information we just discovered. So that's all great news. And then I'm gonna get home probably around eight o'clock. So for the next five hours, we're about to tap in. And I'm gonna text everybody that I'm texting on a daily basis, like for example, my girlfriend, right? In moments like this, this is how you balance, so balance you know, like work-life balance, all that stuff. I always text her, hey, I'm about to go into like a five hour work mode. I will not reply. And then I go do my work and then I, I, you know, I call it my work coma. Then I come back and then that's all good, right? Because you don't want to, like this all I could do in about three to four hours, or I could do it in eight. I'm in the middle of looking up houses for my buyers, and you know, a lot of my buyers right now uh, are investors. To be specific, I got six brand new investors today. So I'm, all, I'm basically trying to be very creative and find properties. And in the mix of it all, I found a deal that is very identical to the property I just flipped, and I like the price a lot. So I'm gonna run some comps and see if this is a deal that makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found us a gem. I will be calling the person immediately. Currently calling a listing agent on a property we're gonna put an offer on just to get a feel for what the situation is. Hello, you've reached the grant group. We are it's now 5.32 folks. My productivity level is 
through the damn roof, I tell you. Right now, I got a lot of things done on my to-do list. I need to quickly get a quote for some landscapers. I got to post the TikToks, which are already made. It's just a matter of me hitting caption post. And then we have to make a YouTube video for you all because I haven't posted something in a while and I, and I think that's wrong. I need to get something out today and then this vlog will come out Sunday. And obviously, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We got a lot of special things coming in uh, your way the next few weeks. I'm just waiting to announce the team officially before I actually start giving you guys content with the team like, you know, the trainings, the introductions, how I found them, what they're doing, yada, 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 yada. And the video we're going to make uh, today is going to be real estate courses. Uh, I think it's a lot of them are a waste of your money and I just want to explain so that way a lot of new agents know what they're getting into. Okay, we do have a landscaper now coming out tomorrow at 10 a.m. to give me a quote. So I better... Hey Siri, set a reminder for 9 a.m. tomorrow, landscaper coming in at 10 to give you a quote. Okay, your reminder is set for... Boom. God, I love Siri here. Okay, what's, uh, what else on this? Post TikTok, post on YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, post on Instagram. I already, already told them that, perfect. So now, next up, we can film this YouTube video and be on our way home. And you know what? I think we're gonna make a YouTube video about the five things, five qualities of a successful real estate agent. <sighs> That's it, now I need to come up with five qualities. <laughs> All right, folks, so now it is 6.40. I got the camera rolled up. You can see the mic right here. Uh, I'm hooked up to a different camera here. And I'm having a real, hard time coming with the with subject for today. I was gonna have five qualities of a successful real estate agent. It just feels a little too bland. And like literally all I have is, <laughs> I don't wanna give it away unless I do it, but these are like, I wanna say they're basic, but I also don't wanna lose perspective into thinking that they're they're basic to me, but they are, you know, if you're a brand new real estate agent, you don't quite know that these are the qualities that matter, right? So I'm tossing and turning in, into that. Uh, but then I also have, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just literally gonna look up new real estate agent and just see what comes up. Let's see what, what pops up. Don't become a real estate agent if, okay? Uh, well that, wow, that was a little scary. Mistakes I made my first year as a real estate agent, how much I made my first month, realistic day. Uh, we have what you need to know about doing real estate part-time. These are all not helpful. Maybe what to do before you get a real estate license. I'm gonna film a couple of videos and just see which one is better. That's what we're gonna do. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what ended up happening is the five best qualities for a highly su successful real estate agent ended up being a phenomenal video. So that is what we are filming. It is all done. Now it is 6.58, no, 6.56, you see that? That way you guys don't say I'm lying to you. And it's finally time to look at the to-do list over real quick, get my TikToks posted and go home. And by home, I mean Best Buy because my girlfriend's birthday is tomorrow and I need to get her a present. <laughs> and I'm a little bit late. Let's pray to God they have inventory. We're going to be down bad otherwise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is currently 7.28 p.m. I'm exhausted. I want to go home. <laughs> I feel like a prisoner. I want to go home. But I've been having too much fun. I just posted a TikTok literally three minutes ago. And it appears we are at, I'll tell you exactly how many views. We are at 600 views, so that's doing fantastic, so great news for me. Uh, this is how you know you go viral on TikTok. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna show you guys a little, a little trick. Before, you see that? All those notifications pop up. You know we made it. Anyhow, I, think, I don't think I'm gonna have time to edit and post a YouTube video today. I feel horrible about this, but the reality is I don't wanna post something at 10 p.m. Uh, when I still have other work to do. Alright folks, that's gonna wrap up the vlog for today. We got some amazing things coming your way. If you made it this far, let me give you some announcements. Uh, I have a lot of team trainings coming up. I got a lot of you know team introduction videos coming up, investment content coming up about exactly what I spent once I figure out all the figures. And uh, just a lot more detail coming your way. So please stay tuned. And if you like this, please support the channel by subscribing to the Patreon. I'm charging $10 a month. And I'm gonna figure out a way to get you guys some value. I'm either gonna do giveaways with those dope, uh, the dope merchandise I have. I might do free coaching calls. I might do group calls. So sign up to the people there. Are gonna get a huge benefit. Usually I charge 150 for a for a one-on-one -on -one call. If you're on a Patreon, it's ten dollars a month, right? So hop on in there. There'll be exclusive content. And there's already a coaching call I did up right now. I'll probably be posting more. And as the next week progresses, I'm definitely gonna be uploading uh, a lot of like that. The details that I can't really post because it's my private business, but I could put on Patreon because you guys are going to be family. So thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week.